Mr. Speaker, I thank the M members for their support of the bill and their questions. Mr. Saktiandi asked if any study or consultation had been done on the designated systems of other countries. MAS studied a variety of jurisdictions, such as Australia, Canada, Europe, Hong Kong, New Zealand, and United Kingdom, to distill the best practices. The proposed amendments are also in line with international standards, such as the principles for financial market infrastructures set by the Committee on Payment and Market Infrastructure <coughs> of the Bank for International Settlements and the International Organization of Securities Commissions. In addition, MAS consulted financial institutions extensively and drew on our experience administrating the FNA over the last 15 years. With this bill, MAS will be among other leading jurisdiction in the area of insolvency protection for designated systems. Mr. Ng inquired about the differences in the timing of insolvency protection between the EU Settlement Finality Directive and the proposed bill. He also sought clarifica clarification on the potential abuse of the extended insolvency protection. The EU's regime, it takes a different approach from this bill. It protects transfer orders that are entered into the system after the moment of insolvency, provided that the central counterparty or clearinghouse demonstrate that they were not aware or should have, nor should have been aware of the commencement of insolvency proceedings. We have chosen not to emulate the EU directive, but instead provide for a window, one business day, for transactions to be protected even after insolvency is declared. There are three insolvency scenarios envisaged by MAS that will require this. I briefly mentioned one of them in my second reading speech, but will elaborate. First, a system that spans multiple jurisdictions across numerous time zones, such as the continuous link settlement system, which need more than one day to settle transactions in a distressed situation, as the distressed participant may face difficulty paying its obligation, usually in multiple currencies. Second, a system that originates transfer orders on the day of insolvency, but settles the next business day. For example, fast transactions which occur on late Friday evening, which will be settled between the banks only the next Monday morning. These transactions would now be protected. And, as I mentioned in my earlier speech, a foreign bank branch in Singapore has its parent bank go insolvent close to midnight, Singapore time. The operator of the designated system may be unaware of the insolvency of its parent, since this occurs outside office hour, until the next business day, whereupon transactions from this participant was already settled. <clears throat> The bill will ensure the designated system participants' transactions, including the foreign bank branches' transactions, are honoured and protected. In the EU's case, the operator would have to prove that they were not aware, not aware, nor should have been aware of the insolvency proceedings. MAS has assessed that the challenges in proving this will create significant uncertainty, which will defeat the very purpose of giving operators and participants certainty or finality of transactions, and then protect the system as a whole. Hence, we decided not to subject the operator to such a burden of proof, but instead provide for a short window where there is certainty. Notwithstanding, there are safeguards to prevent abuse of this protection. We expect designated systems to have rules in place to exclude an insolvent system participant from the designated system as soon as it is aware of the insolvency and to stem any outflow of funds which abuse the protection. Mr. Saktiandi asked a pertinent question about the adaptability of the bill to future technologies, especially given the robust developments in the payment space. The FNA is technology neutral and allows MAS to designate systems which meet the fundamental criteria for designation, where disruption in the operations of such a system may transmit further disruption to its participants or to the wider financial system or affect public confidence in other payment systems. Hence, as long as the designation criteria is met, whether the system is based on blockchain QR code or biometrics or something we have not seen, MAS will be able to designate the system. Designated systems will be gazetted and publicly listed on MAS, MAS's website. This allows any consumer or business to cross-check the system's legitimacy of being a designated system. 
Mr. Saktian Lee asked about the exemptions for MAS from certain provisions of the FNA. Now, this is because MAS operates MAPS Plus, our nation's large value Singapore dollar real time gross settlement system, and is a designated system under the FNA. The amendments provide for MAS to be exempted from the provisions which are administrative in nature. And MAS is exempted from these provisions, and MAS cannot be invoking such powers upon itself. However, the proposed exemptions for MAS do not affect insolvency protections provided by the FNA for designated systems operated by MAS. Mr. Saktiandi asked about the contingency plans for commercial entities that operate designated systems in Singapore, such as Banking Computer Services Private Limited, BCS, and Citibank City. As a recap, BCS is the designated system operator for Singapore dollar and US dollar checks and interbank gyro, while City is the designated system settlement institution for US dollar checks. MAS recognizes the important role that these operators play in the stability of the financial system. The regulation and supervision of payment systems fall under a separate act, the Payment System Oversight Act, or PSOA. BCS and City are regulated under the PSOA and thus closely supervised by the MAS. Both entities are required to have strong risk management controls in place to address key risks, such as credit, liquidity, and operational risk. They also need to have business continuity plans, and these are validated through industry-wide exercises. As part of ongoing supervision, MAS tracks, the MAS tracks the financial health of BCS and City as well, and have resolution tools at our disposal. Mr. Speaker, I beg to move. <coughs>